If you've watched some of my other Fallout videos, you may know that New Vegas is my favorite game in the franchise, my favorite game of all time, and that Fallout 4 was kind of disappointing to me. Despite that, there are some things that 4 did better than New Vegas. Here are 7 things Fallout 4 did better than Fallout New Vegas. Number 7. The Loot Interface when I first played New Vegas, I never had a problem with the way you looted containers and corpses. It's just the way it was, and it worked just fine. Fallout 4 changed that. Now you don't have to wait for the game to open up a menu just so you can look at what items something contains. You just look at the object, and there's the loot. Best of all, you can still use the old system by pressing a button, depending on what platform you're on, if you want to loot the object using the previous game's method. Number 6. Power Armor Power Armor actually feels like Power Armor. In New Vegas, Power Armor wasn't really anything special. Aside from requiring training to wear it, it was pretty much just another set of armor. In Fallout 4, it couldn't be any more different. Power Armor almost feels like more of a small mech suit to me than just another set of armor. It requires power, can take an absurd amount of punishment, protects you from fall damage, and overall just makes you feel like a badass. I never felt like a badass wearing Power Armor in Fallout New Vegas, I just felt slow. Number 5. Character Creation One of the most frustrating parts of Fallout New Vegas, and even 3, is the character creation system not being very good. It's clunky and, in my opinion, frustrating to use if you want to make a character that looks like yourself or is even something remotely realistic. I usually use a preset then randomize it until I find something that looks decent. In Fallout 4, that is no longer the case. Creating a character that actually looks like a real person is not only faster, but far easier. Things like hair color, facial hair, and scars are still limited to the number of options available, but face structure can be used to create almost anyone thanks to you being able to resize and reshape different parts of your body directly, instead of relying on sliders like in previous games. Number 4. Combat, specifically Gunplay I mentioned in my The Future of Fallout video that I prefer New Vegas' firearm gameplay to Fallout 4's, and that still holds true today, but I will admit that as far as first-person shooter mechanics go, 4's is better. The guns actually feel like guns, like they have weight and real power behind them. Number 3. Survival Mode New Vegas' hardcore mode can be fun if you've only played the game on a lower difficulty, since it does make the game more difficult. But while it is more difficult, it doesn't really do a whole lot. It just adds more things that you have to pay attention to, like needing water and sleep. All things considered, it didn't affect the gameplay all that much. Fallout 4's survival mode changed things significantly. In addition to needing food, water, and sleep, you also can't fast travel at all and can only save when you sleep, though that was changed later on to allow you to make a temporary save when you exit the game. That makes settlements go from being things you'd go to if you needed a quest to gain some XP to becoming a safe haven you are always on the lookout for. You also need to be much closer to a point of interest for it to appear on your radar. In addition to all of these changes, there were significantly more that I don't really have the time to mention. Number 2. Ghouls. Specifically, Feral Ghouls. The Feral Ghouls in Fallout 4 might seem more like zombies than the ghouls found in Fallout 3 or New Vegas, but to me, that's what they're supposed to be. They've lost their minds and attack anything that isn't a Feral Ghoul, and they look a lot scarier than the previous game's counterparts. They move more haphazardly, they don't just sprint straight towards you. Honorable Mentions Johnny Guitar isn't in Fallout 4, so you don't have to worry about getting that stuck in your head for three days after you inevitably hear it on an in-game radio. A real honorable mention is the graphical improvement. The game just looks better in every way. But I didn't want to spend too much time on this because it's not really a fair comparison. Of course Fallout 4 will look better than New Vegas, it was released six years later. A third and last honorable mention is a part of the new dialogue system. In New Vegas, when you spoke to someone, time froze around you. Eons could pass with no movement in the universe. In Fallout 4, when you talk to someone, the world continues to move around you. I like that. It makes the game world feel more alive. Number 1. Weapon Modifications Despite the legendary weapons and armor found in Fallout 4 being kind of lackluster in my opinion, the weapon mod system more than makes up for it. In New Vegas, the best you could get was something similar to a varmint rifle with a silencer, extended magazine, and a scope. And once they're on, they're on. You don't get them back. In Fallout 4, every weapon has a way to make it your own. In the case of something like a baseball bat, you can only change the type of color or what attachment it has, 
but some weapons have literally thousands of different combinations to best suit your playstyle. It's one of the few things in Fallout 4 that I really hope to see in every future Fallout game. Alright, that's going to do it for this video about 7 things Fallout 4 did better than Fallout New Vegas. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything, leave a dislike. Follow me on Twitter at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.